Hey guys, welcome back to A Taylor AI One. Today we are making Grandma J's uh, homemade chicken noodle soup and fried chicken for dinner. And Stevie here is going to make the pasta because it's one of his favorite things to do. And it's very simple. No machine is required. We have a rolling pin. A rolling pin. We have. Some flour. Okay, guys, welcome back to A Taylor AI One. Me and Stevie are making homemade pasta right now to go in Grandma J's chicken noodle soup and fried chicken for this evening. So, we're going to show you how to do some pasta. First off, we have a one cup measuring cup here, we have some flour. There, we have a, oh, some water. A rolling pin. A rolling pin. A knife, a pizza cutter. Yes, we have a knife and a pizza cutter here and here. Some saran wrap and some eggs and some salt. Whoops, where's the salt? There it is. There's the salt and a cup right there for Stevie to break his eggs into. Stevie likes making pasta. He got that from his grandmother. So, starting off with the measuring cup, we are going to measure out three cups of flour, all purpose. If you want to use uh, semolina, you can. Um, Grandma Jay never did, so we just do it the way she did it. So, he's just going to pour this out onto the parchment paper which just makes for easier cleanup and it doesn't have to be a perfect measurement one and yeah you need two more and and if you hear the noise in the background that is a video brandon game. and uh Corey are playing video games this morning. Now, yeah, actually this afternoon, but okay. Three. So there we are, three. And now you're gonna make a well in the center, and because you use three cups of flour, you wanna start with three eggs. So that is what we are going to do now. So take your other cup over there, plastic one and four eggs no three start now you start with three because it kind of depends on how large your eggs are to whether you're going to need more than one egg per cup of flour that you are using so that's the first egg and go ahead and incorporate that the first egg into the mix there and this will require you to get club hands meaning the flour is going to stick to your hands but that's just the way it is making your own noodles is very easy a lot of people think it's difficult when it really isn't i used to do this when i was five Huh? So you should do this when I was five. Yes, you did this when you were five years old. This was a family thing when Grandma Jay was still with us. That we would gather at the Sunday table after Sunday dinner and we would make pasta. Oh, you need more. You're going to need another egg, I know. So now I'm just going to go ahead, or no, he's going to do it. Break another egg into the cup to make sure he doesn't get shell in it and make another well into the center of the flour and then add the second egg now this is a type of dough that you can knead a lot work it because the gluten in the flour is what's going to give us the 
um, stability that we need in the dough. Unlike pie dough, which you do not want to overwork because then it will be too tough, uh, noodles, you don't have to worry about that problem. You cannot overwork it. You can underwork it. If you don't work it enough and let it rest afterward, then you will end up with very stiff noodles. And here's your thing again, if you want to add your third. I think we need something other than... Are you making, what, a uh, volcano or what, dude? Really? <laughs> okay. Make your well. Come on. Your... Our third egg. No shell. No shell. So... Actually, that's flour. Yeah, that was flour. Just want to make sure. And then we're going to add also, besides this third egg, we are going to add a little bit of water. And the water just thins it out. And you're going to add water as you work the dough until you get the dough to the consistency that you want. So, I need some more water. More, more water or more flour? Water. Um, and probably a bit of flour. A little bit of both. A little bit of both. A little bit more flour. And a little bit more water. Hang on, let me stabilize it on this side, dude. So, we're just going to continue to work this, and we will be right back when we have it all incorporated. And we'll show you what the dough looks like. Do I need to put in more water, more flour? Well, okay, right now he needs to add some salt to it, which will just be, you know, out of a shaker right there. Oh, you want me to do it? Yeah, my hands are like. All right, so I have some salt here. We're going to go ahead and add about a teaspoon of it, and we're going to add a little bit more water. And then Stevie is going to continue to knead it and bring it into a uh, ball of dough. So. I'm just help. I'm holding the paper down for him, so you can tape it down. But Stevie seemed to have lost our tape, yes, I so I, I couldn't tape it down like I normally would. Get everything off the paper. So once again, we're gonna continue this and we will be right back. Okay, there's something. No. <laughs> Okay, Stevie has the dough done, and we have a piece of clean film or uh, saran wrap, and we're just going to take the dough and wrap it in. Okay, Stevie's finished the dough. There it is. He's going to wrap it in some clean film, and we're going to let it rest for at least 10 minutes on the counter, and we will be right back to um, show you how we roll it out. And we do not have a pasta machine, so it is done by hand. Oops, sorry guys. Okay, so this is the first dough ball that I did, and while the other one's resting, we're gonna start on this one. We're gonna start by first cutting it. Sorry, I know, I'm on my cell phone because for some reason the camcorder decided it didn't want to work. So we're going to put this in four pieces. We cut it in half and cut the two halves into halves. And then we are going, going to roll it out, which Stevie is going to do. Okay, so that's those two. Fill a little bit of flour down on the bench. Or your workspace. Yeah, or your workspace, but ours happens to be a bench. And need that for just a moment, Stevie. That is just to kind of 
We want it to relax, but we also want it to develop a little bit more gluten to it. So the gluten is what's going to make this um, hold its shape when we're done. And you guys are really going to think we're rednecks for how we're going to dry the pasta. But I'll tell you about that in a moment. Uh -huh. All right, here, go ahead and start. He's going to go ahead and start rolling it out with a rolling pin. I don't um, pretty thin. Turn it around. Not over, but around, but that's okay. Well, you want to start from the center to the outside. And then you're going to turn it the opposite direction and do it that way. And then move it towards you. No, not the dough, the rolling pin. But that's okay. It'll work either direction. Did Brandon just sigh at me? No, he sighed at the game. Oh. They lost. Anyways, we have to make this as thin as possible. Well, you don't have to, but then you're making more of dumplings than you are noodles. So, without a machine to roll it out, we have to do it by hand. You know, one pasta machine we used to have. Yeah. But no one ever liked using it. I used it all the time. <laughs> I used that dead help me out. I used to I used to make the dough as thin as possible by setting the um uh, there's um, uh, one part of it that would flatten it out for you. And you can make it thinner and thinner. So you start from the highest number and go down, making it like super thin. Put your weight on that. You're not putting your weight on it. And I'll make it a little bit easier and we'll thin it better. Alright, we'll be right back. Okay, now, Stevie has the dough pretty thin, and I mean like really thin, that he's rolled out as thin as possible. Now, he's going to take the dough and he's going to make a cylinder or roll it. And this will make it easier to cut our strips of pasta. And then I'm going to show you how redneck we are. Grandma J always put a cotton sheet on the bed and uh, would lay the pasta out. Yeah, he's going to use a pizza cutter and cut strips as thin or as thick as he would like. But anyways, we don't want to do that because we have three dogs and a cat, so... We do, I hung coat hangers, and we're going to drape it over the coat hangers, which are clean. I made sure to clean them, and hang them from the light, which will provide a little bit of heat, and that's how we're going to dry them. As Stevie is doing this. And no matter how short, uneven, or whatever, don't worry about it. It's homemade pasta, people. So we're going to finish doing this part and start unraveling them. Because they are starting to stick together. Yeah, because they're starting to stick. So we'll be back in a minute. Alright, guys. This is homemade pasta hanging from the um, light fixture or chandelier, whatever you want to call it, and we're just going to continue to do this. Stevie is working on the second batch of it, and then we still have the one he's working on, plus those two, plus another ball of dough that I made earlier. So You made? Well, okay, I made this one, you made the other one. Either direction, dude. Really? Alright, so he's going to roll it up. But this is basically on. it. Oh, I think he just said that I'm the one that's going to get to cut it. Oh, and that's to way too... You're going to have to thin that out. Some more. That's way too thick, dude. We're not making dumplings. Mm -hmm. We're making dumplings? Those would be, like, perfect for um, chicken and dumplings which would be the thicker dough, but we really want to have this as thin as we can, even though it will not be as thin as we could do with a pasta machine, 
but you don't need a pasta machine. Just a little bit of hard work, huh, Stevie? Do it redneck style. Redneck style. <laughs> yeah, right All right, guys. We'll be right back. Guys, I just had to bring you back. I know. I was showing Stevie what the pizza cutter was also for, which is making it yourself. They don't have to be perfect. The lines are not going to be straight unless you do this for a living. Then you might actually be able to do them a little bit straighter, but that's fine. So he's just going to do this, and then we're going to put them up on our homemade drying rack right up there. All right, guys.